going to show you something really special about the new version of Excite Pro version 2.5 that we've never released before, that we've never shown you before. This is a really exciting new feature that you're going to get some great value from. Let me explain why. To best explain how it works, I'm going to use YouTube. It's a service, obviously, that most of us are familiar with, uh, and it'll uh, make the point very effectively of what, what this new tool is within Excite Pro that you've now got access to. If I do a simple search on YouTube, let's do a search for golf. Let's see what sort of content that YouTube have got on golf. Well, there's a whole bunch of results returned, of course, and I'm going to go ahead and click on one of those. Let's try how to swing a golf club like Tiger Woods. Now, I'm not interested in watching the video right now, so I'm going to go ahead and pause that. But what I am interested in is if I expand the descriptive content for this piece of video. Can you see at the bottom? Oh, sorry. Can you see? Let me just pause that. Can you see at the bottom we have something called tags? I'll just highlight that for you. Can you see these three tags that the person who created this video has determined are appropriate tags for this video content? We have golf, we have swing, and we have stance. Now, here's the interesting thing. If I go ahead and click on one of those tags, which is itself a link, I'm clicking on the tag called stance. Now, can you see what's happened there? Two things have happened. Firstly, you can see from the title of the page here that YouTube has actually carried out a search on the term, the tag, stance, the word stance. And secondly, it's returned a bunch of results. Now, I'm going to ask you a question here. What is this that we're looking at right now? What is this page? It's content, right? It's not only content, but it's also content that features our keyword that was in the tag, the word stance. Can you see? Not only do we have the word stance in the titles, you'll more often than not find, if you drill down into these pieces of content, that there is probably mention of that same keyword stance in the descriptions as well. So we've actually got some really useful content here. In the search engine's eyes, this page is two things. It's unique and it's relevant. And that means jackpot for us. If we can generate this content in the same way for Google when it's spidering our website, then we're presenting it effectively with lots more content. That's what this new tool is, the tag cloud tool or the tag list tool within Excite Pro 2.5. And it's this functionality that you've now got access to. Let's see how this works, how this process is mimicked in Excite Pro and why it's going to add some valuable page count for your website, some relevant, unique quality pages. If I head into Excite Pro, uh, we've got uh, a website here that I've created earlier. And if we go to the web pages tab, and the page settings sub tab, we can see here are our keywords. And Excite Pro drives the tag tool, the tag clouds and tag lists that we add to our pages. It drives them with the keywords list here. Now, there's often been debate and more recently a lot of conjecture that the uh, the, ta the uh, keyword list within the site metadata is worthless. In, in fact, Google puts very little value these days on the, the list that you sometimes see in the metadata. But it's important that we have our keywords list in Excite Pro because it's going to help us uh, make the most of the Tag Cloud tool. I'm going to do two demonstrations. I'm going to use this existing site as it stands with a small selection of keywords as I click through the different site pages, you'll see that there is a slight variation. So overall, I don't know, maybe there's 20 to 30 keywords mixed in across all of these different pages, seven or eight keywords per page. Now, I'm going to go to the design tab and I'm going to insert the tag cloud and show you as a parallel to what we saw on YouTube, uh, the effect that this is going to have on your Excite Pro sites. All I'm going to do is where I want my tag cloud or my tag list to appear is right click and from the tagging menu option, select insert either tag cloud or tag list. I'm going to go ahead with the tag cloud for this part of the demonstration right now and you'll see the tag cloud module appears. And we can see an illustration here. This is just a preview, a simulation of the tag cloud arrangement, how it might appear. I'm happy with the default settings. There are settings within the uh, step two tab here that we could adjust, but I'm going to go ahead for simplicity's sake for this demonstration and accept the defaults. I'm just going to click the insert button. So you can see that the process of adding a tag cloud for me there was what, 20 seconds? Having gone to the design tab, right clicked and inserted the tag cloud placeholder, that's it. We just need to publish the website to get the full benefit. What is that benefit? Let me show you. 
if I preview the web page right now, we'll see that tag cloud in action. Now think back to the YouTube page we looked at a couple of minutes ago. If I scroll down, we have a tag cloud. Now this is a, an arrangement of tags. Okay, The reason it's called a cloud is because it's um, arranging them centrally like this and it's uh, emphasizing those keywords that are featured more regularly throughout my website in a bigger font. The smaller font denotes keywords that are used less frequently throughout the site. Other than the arrangement itself, it's essentially the same thing as we saw on YouTube, a list of links to keyword relevant search pages. If I click on one of these, for example, as I did with the word uh, stance on YouTube, in this demonstration I'm clicking on aromatherapy oil, you'll see we get taken to a page of results, not dissimilar to the search results on YouTube. And this page of results is all of those pages on my website that feature and include the keyword aromatherapy oil in this case. So what have we got here? In the same way as we had on YouTube, we've got a page of unique, relevant content. And it just was created for me automatically by Excite Pro. So this content is a list of pages with descriptions. So it's lots of textual content uh, that hopefully will be relevant to those keywords that we've just specified there. How powerful is that? Think about it. Here's the list of the keywords that are featured throughout my site. And you can see from the emphasis which ones are mentioned more than others. But look at all of these. Every one of these links now is a new page of content. You're starting to get what's happening here. We're getting new pages of content based around keyword themes. Powerful stuff. It's going to help bulk up the keyword theme of our website. That's good for our search engine rankings, the performance of our website. But it goes further. Let's take that to the next level. Here's the tag cloud that we just inserted. I'm going to get rid of that for this part of the demonstration. I'm also going to add more keywords. Okay, where do we get more keywords for? Well, from well, I've just gone to Google's uh, keyword suggestion tool and I've put a search in for aromatherapy oils. And guess what? I've got a whole bunch of relevant keywords that Google thinks I ought to be perhaps thinking about featuring on my site. Potentially, it's ordered by relevance. Okay, so these are relevant terms to my primary keyword phrase. All I'm going to do is download those keywords to a spreadsheet. Watch how easy this is. I'm going to open the spreadsheet in Excel. Okay, I'm going to just get rid of the header row there and grab the keyword list. That's 100 keywords relevant to my primary keyword phrase. And I'm just going to drop those in to Excite Pro. Okay. Now, I don't want all of those keywords to be featured on the one site, one page. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to divide them up, okay, very quickly. This is just a rudimentary demonstration. You might want to take a little bit more time over this, but I'm going to divide them up over different pages, okay? So some pages will have the uh, same, some will have different ones. Okay. Okay. Now the point here is that uh, I'm in adding all of these keywords, what am I doing? I'm adding additional page content. So let's just very quickly head back to our web page there, right click and insert this time a tag list just to show you the other way that this can work. All right. Let's uh, have a maximum, say uh, 50 keywords just for now. Preview the page and scrolling down, we can see here's a list of keyword relevant links to sections of content, unique sections of content uh, that had we added these keywords, of course, across multiple pages, we get more results here. But you get the point by simply distributing keywords throughout your site. You can grab a whole list of relevant keywords uh, by adding those in. You can create brand new pages of content, listing out pages with descriptions relevant to that keyword search. OK, so just as we saw on YouTube, in a matter of seconds, we've created lots and lots of relevant keyword specific content. Fantastic stuff. Powerful stuff. That's why this new tag cloud feature of Excite Pro version 2.5 is going to make such a difference to your site.